Hello, my name is Andrew Morris. I'm a retired electronics engineer, and my gadget today is a digital motor speed regulator. What I have here is a Chinese-made rotary tool, also called a mini drill. It's available at Harbor Freight and is used for cutting, drilling, and polishing. It's a whole lot handier to use than a big AC power tool, but for precision work, you definitely need the speed regulator. This thing screams at high RPMs when unloaded, but slows to a crawl when you put a load on it. I solved that problem years ago by designing an electronic motor speed regulator based on the 555 timer chip. I recently created a digital version of the speed regulator using a motor control technique that I invented for a former employer in 1999. The invention is now in the public domain and how that happened is briefly described in the article. I really like the digital version because it's so much easier to make than the analog version and has a little bit more torque. The motor speed has a little bit of jitter in it, but it's being used for a tape recorder. I mean, for a drill, not a tape recorder. Okay, so now we can hook it up and uh, show you how it works. Okay, as you can see, I can turn it up and down, you can hear the, you can hear the speed change. I normally use it on the lowest setting for what I do. If you squeeze the uh, uh, spindle so that it, it can't maintain the speed, the overload light comes on. If you let go, of course, it goes out. If you stall it for three seconds, the motor shuts off. And then you got to turn it off and back on to reset it. Okay, so now let's uh, I'll put a bit in it and, sh and let you see it work. Okay. Okay. See, I gotta bear down on it pretty hard to get it to stop. And you see, you can probably see the overload light blinking on and off. Okay. Okay. But it's got pretty good torque. Okay, so now let's hook up the original transformer that came with it. And see what kind of difference there is in the performance. Again, it runs really fast when there's no load on it. But look at that, almost no torque at all. So you can see my gadget works for the kind of work that I do, working on printed circuit boards, another delicate work. Uh, I want slow speed and decent torque, and this gadget does that. As you can see, there's not much to it. The, uh, all the electronics fits on a tiny circuit board because the microcontroller does all the work. I'm using a uh, power supply from a, an old junk printer to power it. And I guess that's about it. Thank you.